Howdy! Welcome to the another series in Blazing the West. I'm Kathy Drew, owner and creative director of Interactive Entertainment. Today's story is going to be a little different because we're touching upon history, but also through a character that didn't make it into the history books. Marshal Dan Stockburn represents law and order and he represents it right here in El Dorado County, which is near and dear to my heart. So sit back, listen to the story of Marshal Dan Stockburn, Maintaining Law and Order. I'm Marshal Dan Stockburn. I was asked to tell my story, though I'm not sure where to start or how much to tell. Am I famous? Depends on what you call famous. I have a job to do, and I do it. If I were to start at the very beginning, I was born in Texas in a very dynamic year, 1824. My parents were brought to Texas along with a few hundred other families in 1821 by Stephen Austin, who was also known as the father of Texas. The purpose was to colonize the territory. Constitutional government in Texas began with that 1824 flag, which also flew over the Alamo and represented Texans fight for independence from Mexico for 10 years. I was 12, my father died at the Alamo in 1836. A friend of my father's who fought with him, John Coffee Hayes, arrived at my home to deliver the news of my father's death. It seems he had been appointed by Sam Houston to lead the Texas Rangers. When I was 16, I joined the Texas Rangers and fought in the Battle of Plum Creek in 1840. I stayed with Captain Hayes for 10 years. In 1850, I decided to leave Texas and journey to California to join in the gold rush. I was 26 and unmarried. California was a rough tumble place to be. The gold rush was marked by lawlessness, duels, murders in broad daylight, public hangings, jail breaks, and vigilanteism. I found I had a dark side when I was available for hire as a vigilante marshal. Let's just say not all my prisoners ended up in jail. In 1851, a man named Joaquin Murrieta and his band of desperados were wreaking havoc throughout the gold country, attacking caravans and families and killing them violently. By 1853, his plundering and countless murders had reached such an alarming proportions, the citizens of all parts of the state petitioned Governor Bigler to organize a military company to capture Murrieta and his gang of marauding outlaws. The state legislature in May of 1853 approved the raising of a company of rangers. Well, of course, that appealed to me. There were 20 of us led by Captain Harry Love. On July 25th, 1853, we encountered Murrieta near the Coast Range Mountains of the Tulare Plains. We captured and killed him and several of his men. In order to prove the rangers killed the notorious outlaw, Captain Love had Murrieta and his lieutenant beheaded. Murrieta's head was put in a pickle jar with alcohol and put on exhibition. On August 29, 1853, Governor Bigler paid Captain Love the $1,000 reward money and then mustered the California rangers out of service. In 1854, state legislature decided the members weren't paid enough and we received an additional $5,000. At the age of 30, I decided to settle down in El Dorado County, California and met and fell in love with Catherine. Just before our wedding, I was appointed Deputy U.S. Marshal and served for 10 years. Life was pretty slow and easy, but there was continued need for law and order, and I was happy to provide that. But the Civil War broke out in 1861. The Central Pacific Railroad was authorized by Congress in 1862 and in 1869 the Union Pacific Railroad began to run through California. I was getting too old to chase after train robbers, much less stagecoach robbers like Charles Bowles, who was also known as Black Bart. I almost caught him accidentally in Calaveras County when I was delivering a prisoner to the detention facility in San Andreas. He was either on his way or coming from when we brushed shoulders on the boardwalk. It was 1875 and I was 51. 
I died peacefully in my sleep on October 7th, 1877. Did I die famous? No, just peacefully and happy with the life I had led and the law and order I provided. Hi, I'm Dan Rainey. I portray Marshal Dan Stockburn. You could join, join us for more Legends of the Old West and follow us on Instagram and Facebook through Interactive Entertainment. Until we meet again, thank you for listening.